Aloha, everybody. Thank you for being with us tonight. COVID-19 has devastated a state veteran's home in Hilo. Today, officials report a new death, totaling 23 at the facility. This comes after a recent report from the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs highlights infection control issues. Sarah Madison has our top story. The 16-page report listed a number of observations and included recommendations. It stated the veterans' home's basic understanding of segregation and workflow seemed to be lacking. According to the report, many practices observed seemed as if they were a result of recent changes. Even though these are improvements, these are things that should have been in place from the pandemic onset and a major contributing factor towards the rapid spread. Senator Brian Schatz, who requested the VA step in, released this statement on Sunday. We have known all along that nursing homes and their residents were particularly vulnerable to COVID-19. So it is infuriating to see that basic infection control practices were not in place months after the pandemic began. The managing company of the home, Avalon Healthcare, says it has been following CDC and state guidelines. Much of what's in the report goes above and beyond that. You know, thankfully, a lot of them were already in place. The VA team, you know, was there for four hours and they didn't um, have a chance to review our training records, our medical records, our pandemic plan and uh, other things. Among many issues, the VA assessment team observed staff not consistently caring for residents only on one hall, floating among two or more halls. They saw some residents wandering throughout the unit into other hallways. According to the report, the administrator stated there were no current processes in place to limit housekeeping staff or maintenance personnel from intermixing from the COVID unit to other areas. Griffith says the home already implemented some of the VA's recommendations, like separating its COVID unit. And so it's appropriate to cohort them all together with dedicated staffing, of course. But one of the items that the report recommended was to split that up into three mini subunits and have um, dedicated staffing for each one. We did do that immediately. Mayor Harry Kim says more than a week ago, he recommended for the immediate suspension of the Veterans Home Administration. But it just reaffirmed things that you feel are not right. That's what it's saying, you know, not acceptable. I mean, I don't have to point to the numbers. You know, it's just something that, you know, it didn't happen overnight. It was a growing and growing thing. The report did identify some best practices at the home, like touchless door entry in several areas throughout the facility. Currently, there's a VA team on the ground assisting the home. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Sarah, thank you. The number of